The objective within this lesson, know and relate metric units to place value units in order to express measurements in different units. We have worked with the metric system where it is that we have talked about the mass or the weight of an object, the length of an object, and we've also talked about capacity or how much can go inside. For instance, if we had a bottle, how much liquid is within that bottle? What's the units for each of these here within the metric system? When we're weighing something and we have the mass, we've been talking about grams, And we've also been talking about kilograms. So our relationship in between grams and kilograms is that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. When we're talking about the length of something, what are some of those units that we have been talking about when we've been talking about the metric system? One of the smallest ones is millimeters. And with millimeters, we've also been talking about centimeters as well. Even larger than a centimeter, we have a meter. And even larger than that, we have kilometers. The relationship in between meters and centimeters is that one meter equals how many centimeters? 100. And then we also know that one kilometer equals how many meters? 1,000 meters. With capacity, we have been talking about liters, which we abbreviate as L, and we've been talking one one-thousandth of a liter, or a milliliter, which we will abbreviate as follows. And the relationship there is that one liter is equal to one-thousand milliliters. So those are the units of measure, not only for mass, but also for length, and also for capacity. One of the things we also know is that one meter does equal 1,000 millimeters. Going over those lengths again, which I did not write out, mm stands for millimeter, cm stands for centimeter, m standing for meter, and KM standing for a kilometer. Let's relate this back to place value. If I make a place value chart, I'm talking about ones, tens, and hundreds. And then so I have this number here, 318, and then so if I place it into the place value chart, really, I'm looking at this 318, I could break it apart into its hundreds, and then also into its ones. I could rename it in a number of different ways. I could even rename it as 318 ones if I wanted to. Let's rename it, and let's use these disks here. So we're talking about a hundred there, another hundred, and another hundred. We would have 110, and then we would have eight ones. So if I was to break that down, again, we would have three hundreds. And I could also even have expressed this. This tens here is actually equal to ten ones. Put it back together with the ones that would be eighteen ones. So in unit form, three hundred eighteen equals three hundreds eighteen ones. 
Now, this problem here is actually very similar where I'm looking at 318 centimeters, and I'm looking to express it as meters, and then also centimeters. Which of these place values would be associated with meters? Well, if this was one centimeter, centimeter, then let's see, we have one times 10, that would be 10 centimeters, right? Each of those would be 10 centimeters. And times 10 again, that would be 100 centimeters. Or also equal to 1 meter. So each of these within here is equal to 1 meter. 1 meter, 2 meters, 3 meters. So we have 3 meters here along with 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 ones, which was also one centimeter. So that's three meters, 18 centimeters. So we have this problem where it is that they look very, very similar because of place value and because the metric system is related to that place value system in that it is base 10. It is a base 10 system where at each of these values is 10 times more than the other. Here I have another problem. I have 3,275 is 3 something with 275 ones. What's the value of that 3? Hmm, the value of the 3 is 3,000. So, that place value is the thousands place. So if we were to break that apart with place value, it would be thousands. Now I know that one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So if I was using a place value chart, my ones would be my meters. And as I multiply by 10, this would be 10 meters or tens. 10 times 10 is 100 meters, or hundreds. And multiplying by 10 again, 100 meters, that's 1,000 meters, which is also equal to 1 kilometer, or my thousands place. Using digits within here, that would be 3, 2, 7, 5. And I know that this 3 right here is worth 3,000 or 3 kilometers. And the number of 1's that I would have is not going to be 5 because I still have 200's and 7 10's as well or 275 1's. So that's 3 kilometers, 275 meters. Okay, it is your turn. We have two number sentences for you to complete. You'll notice that they are, look very similar to the other two problems that we just did. And we made a bigger place value chart for you. Break it apart first. We're going to go into thousands because we know that one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. And we'll use that to help us break apart these numbers, not only in unit form with thousands and ones, but also by the number of kilometers with the number of meters. Pause that video while you do your work. Hopefully you did your place value chart correctly. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and even ten thousands. Our ones are going to be our smallest unit there, which is a meter, or one meter. Our tens is now ten meters. Our hundreds is a hundred meter, which was times ten again. And our thousands is a thousand meters. 
10 thousands would be 10 thousand meters. And then we can break apart that number. We could place digits 1, 2, 4, 6, 5. We could call this then 12,465 meters. However, we're going to break it apart into its thousands. And then so it's not only two thousands, but I also have this one ten thousand here, so that is twelve thousands. With how many ones? Five, six, and the four, or four hundred sixty five ones. So our equivalent kilometers with meters is 12 kilometers with 465 meters. Look over your work. Make sure that you did that correctly. Here's another type of problem. Here this says 32,478 milliliters and then I have that circle in between indicating that I'm either going greater than, less than, or equal. So I'm comparing these two here. And the number on this opposite side is 32 liters with 359 milliliters. In order to compare them, I need to have units that are the same. So since this is the smaller one here with milliliters, I can express this as milliliters as well. In fact, it's going to be easiest if I just use a place value chart, where the smallest unit is going to be the milliliters, which would have been the ones place. And then we know that one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So the next unit on over would be 10, or 10 milliliters. We multiply that by 10 again, 10 times 10 is 100 milliliters, or hundreds, and then multiply by 10 again, that's 1,000 milliliters, or that is also equal to 1 liter. So if that's the case there, then what I will do is even make a place here where we have 32. I can't shove 32 into that place there, so I place the 3 and the 2 right here for 32 liters. That's 32 liters because these are 10 liters. 1 times 10. Now, if I continue there, 359 milliliters, 9 goes there, 5 goes there, and 3 goes there. I place the other number into my chart. That number is easy because it already is in milliliters. So it's 3, 2, 4, 7, 8. And then I can compare. 3 with 3, same, so I move to the next digit. 2 with 2, and then 3 with 4. 3 is less than 4. So that, this goes like this here, because the 3 here was less than the 4 here. 32,478 milliliters is bigger than 32 liters, 359 milliliters. And I compared them by placing them in to a place value chart. This is something that we will continue to work on. It is really important to remember those relationships for mass, capacity, and length.